Hello everyone, Call Around Away here, and today we are back with another Pixel Gun 3 video. In today's video, we're going to be doing the top 5 best miniguns in Pixel Gun 3D. So I did top 5 best shotguns about 3 months ago now, and you guys seem to really enjoy it, so we're going to do top 5 best miniguns in Pixel Gun 3D. Uh, one thing I need to know, the minigun shotgun is not a minigun. It just says mini it's just minigun shotgun, just because it's a fashion shooting shotgun. Just going to put that there, and I'm just going to say that just because, so you guys won't be wondering why that's not on the list. It's not on the list, by the way. So yeah, top 5 miniguns. Miniguns have the highest capacity in the game. I'm pretty sure we all know that by now. And yeah, let's get on to the top 5 spots. Now the number 5 spot is the Icicle Minigun. Now the Icicle Minigun ha it hasn't been in the game for the longest out of all the miniguns in this game. Uh, that's on this list at least. It's a lot. It's the oldest weapon on this list. It came out in December 2015 and it was a really powerful primary weapon. Uh, since the combat system did come out, this weapon did fall behind a little bit, but it still holds up to 1v1 of the better miniguns in Pixel Gun 3D. It is a definitely a really good weapon, definitely for lower level players especially, because this weapon, it does slow down targets and it makes it a really good weapon. It's the only slow down weapon that in this list and it makes it a really good weapon. This weapon's actually not super powerful, but the slowdown effect does help out the weapon's damage, and it pretty much just steps up for it. And, uh, yeah, it's like a Mexico minigun. I don't know how much this weapon costs anymore. I bought this weapon two years ago, so I'm not sure what, how much it costs, but it's really good. Definitely a really good minigun in the game. Definitely takes number five spot. Not the best one, but definitely not the worst minigun in Pixel Gun 3D, and, uh, yeah. It's definitely really good. Uh, I don't really have much to say else about the Icicle minigun. It's definitely pretty much your go-to minigun, especially when you're like a level 20 player where you don't really have that many good weapons. This weapon is definitely really good. But uh, at higher levels, um, you probably need to pick up another word minigun. That at least in the top three spots. But uh, yeah, lower level players, definitely this minigun's really good. And uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. All I need to say about the mini the icicle minigun. So yeah, I'm gonna get one more kill. I'm gonna we're gonna get on to the next one. And, uh, yeah, slowdown targets do help out a lot with this thing, because people do fall down the pits when they're over, like, pits and stuff, so, it's really good. I really do like this weapon for that, and it's a really good weapon for that. And, uh, I'm gonna try to get one more person before we move on. As you guys see there, that guy cannot get into that. Alright, we're gonna be down here, but, yeah, that's gonna be it for the Icicle Minigun. Let's get on to the next weapon on this list. Now the number 4 spot on the top 5 best miniguns is the state gun. Now the state gun is the reskin version of the Icicle minigun, but this weapon is definitely a more powerful weapon. The Icicle minigun has a combat level of 15, while this one has a combat level of 16, so it makes this damage a little bit better. And it's definitely more reliable against the higher level players at Pixel Gun 3D. Since this thing does have higher damage, it's definitely a lot easier to kill players as you guys see there. If you guys saw in the last clip, uh, the Icicle Minigun does not kill that fast. And it makes the weapon really good. There's only this one player in this match, so it's not going to be, like, that accurate. I, I don't know. Like, it's only one player. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to show how good this weapon is. But, yeah. Uh, this guy has some multitaskers. He doesn't really stand a chance. If you have really good aim like I do, it's really not that hard to take people out. It's definitely a really good minigun. Unfortunately, this guy fell off the edge. But, yeah. It takes maybe, like... 9, 10 headshots to take out, and it's definitely more better than the other primary weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. It makes this weapon really, really powerful. Definitely really good. Definitely recommend using the Stormtrooper Cape to increase primary weapon damages. And uh, easily took out that Demon Stone right there. It, it's definitely a really good minigun. It's definitely one of the better reskin weapons in Pixel Gun 3D when the original weapon is got underpowered from the combat system. So yeah. This weapon definitely takes number four spots, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna end this one right here. And uh, that's pretty much it for the number four spot. Let's get on to the number three spot. Now, the number three spot on this list is the uh, laser minigun. Now, the laser minigun is definitely the most powerful minigun in Pixel Gun 3D. But I, what I mean by power is that it takes the least amount of shots. It this thing takes four headshots to take someone out with full champion armor. Even with armor bonuses, this weapon is a four shot headshot, which makes it a really powerful weapon. Now, this weapon, uh, out of all the miniguns on this list, this thing is definitely recommended using at close range because this weapon doesn't, it's not like super easy to use. Since this weapon shoots lasers, the lasers go down the middle of the crosshair and not like spread out around the crosshair, so you have to shoot right in the middle of the player. It definitely makes it a lot harder to use at longer range. So always use this thing in close range and it'll be perfectly fine. Uh, this weapon does also shoot through walls, so that's going to be helping a lot. Maybe if you have the third eye, uh, you can actually just see through walls and then finish off the player. Shoot through walls and just hit this per person with the laser minigun. So yeah, it makes it a really good weapon for that. Does shoot through walls out of all the miniguns on this list. Another thing to note, um, the top three weapons on this list, this weapon and the next two weapons, are pretty difficult to actually figure out which one is the better one. And uh, I decided to go with this one, since this weapon is not really that good at long range, I picked this one, so yeah. 
That's pretty much it for the laser minigun. I'm gonna get a couple more kills before we move on. This weapon does take take a little bit of precision to actually get your aim on point. It's a little if it's a kind of difficult weapon to aim with. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the laser minigun. I keep forgetting the name of this weapon, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this weapon. Let's get on to the number two weapon on this list. Now, the number two weapon on this list is the Champion Peacemaker, the reskin version of the Automatic Peacemaker. Now, this Champion Peacemaker is a really, really powerful minigun. Not the most powerful, not as powerful as the laser minigun. That thing takes four headshots. This thing takes seven headshots to kill somebody. And, uh, you know, this weapon shoots a lot quicker, and it's definitely a lot easier to aim with. So, yeah, it's definitely better than the laser minigun. So, this minigun has the highest capacity all after... Out of all the miniguns on this list, this thing has 100 bullets before you have to reload. If you actually collect an ammo drop, you don't actually reload with this weapon. But, uh, yeah. Well, you do reload with it, but you have to get an ammo clip, so yeah. So, this weapon uh, is definitely a really good minigun in the game. They did add it into the game. It, de it definitely shows out to be a really good minigun in Pixel Gun 3D. It's definitely your standard minigun that a lot of people can buy. And uh, it's a really good minigun. It's not really much you need to say. It's just a standard minigun. This thing also has a higher mobility than the laser minigun. This thing has a 75 mobility. And the laser minigun has like a 60 or 65 mobility. So, this weapon is a little bit, it's a little bit easier to move around with. And it makes it a really good minigun in the game. It's not really much I need to say about this weapon. It's this weapon's just a standard minigun. Shoots fast, high capacity. You name it, it has everything you have you can expect from a minigun. So there's not really much I need to say about the champion peacemaker. So yeah, uh, I do like this weapon a lot. Well, definitely one of the better primaries in the game. One of my favorites as well. Love it. I really love this weapon. And uh, I'm pretty sure you guys love it too. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the champion peacemaker. I don't really have much to say about this weapon like I said before. It's really good. Definitely recommend buying it. And yeah, let's get on to the last weapon on the best miniguns list. Now, for the number one spot, it's kind of obvious. We have the Excalibur. This is Excalibur. It's a, one of my more powerful miniguns on this list. I think it takes six headshots, six on and outs with full champion armor. Now, this thing has an energy shield. Um, I'm, not, I'm not too sure what the energy shield does. I kind of figured that the energy the energy shield does reduce damage of what people hit you with. So, with the Ascal minigun, that thing's going to be less powerful on you using the Excalibur than other players. That's what I think it does. I'm not too sure about that. If you guys know what the energy shield does, comment down below because I honestly do not know what it does. And uh, this weapon does have armor bonus, so it gives you two extra shields of armor out of all the other miniguns on this list. So this thing does you give you more armor. So that's all. That's always a good thing. You always need more health because you die way too fast in this game. So yeah, definitely a really good plus with the Excalibur. This thing is also a really fast shooting weapon, like most miniguns on this list. But yeah. This weapon shoots really fast, it kills very, very quickly, way f faster than most other miniguns on this list. My big flaw with this weapon, this is just a me thing, this weapon does have a kind of a weird crosshair. It has a crosshairs of what something like the multitaskers like, have like, uh, it has this crosshair like the multitaskers. It's a little odd, I don't know why this weapon has this crosshair, but you know, it's not really anything important. It's still a really easy weapon to use. Not that easy, it's not the easiest one, but it's still pretty easy to use. Definitely a really good weapon, um... So, yeah, guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. We just hit 9,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for that. Uh, we are really close to 10,000 subscribers, so make sure you guys do subscribe. And, uh, yeah, um, comment down below what you guys think is the top 5 best miniguns in Pixel Gun 3D. And, uh, yeah, this is my list. Top 5 best miniguns. And, yeah, I'm gonna see what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna end the video right here. Probably get a couple more kills with the Excalibur. And, uh, we'll see what we can do here. Let's get probably, like, two or three more. Probably one until we die. That's one kill right there. As you guys see here, it's pretty obvious why this thing is really good. Like, it's really, really good weapon. I died there. Alright, we'll go one more death, and then we'll go until we, until, then we end the video there. Alright, let's get this guy right here. Uh, come on. There we go. We got that guy right there, and let's get this guy as well. There we go. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.